How would you like to put a news feed in your website? Would you like to have news about politics, business, celebrities, or almost anything you can imagine? Well, I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way that I know how to add a news feed to almost any ordinary website. Anyone can do this. It's very easy and it doesn't take any special skills or knowledge. So here's how you do it. Step one, go to your website, then click to the page where you want to insert the news. I want to place some news articles right here on this page. Step two, Click this little edit button, which turns your browser into an easy to use web page editor. If you don't have an edit button, you can get one at nextedit.com. Step three, locate the spot where I want the news feed to appear. Then type in a bunch of Z's. This may sound strange, but we'll come back to this a little later. Step four, open a new window and go to a free news website. There are plenty of them on the web. I have this one handy so we can move quickly, but it really could be any other news source. A news feed works by putting a little code into your page. So we're going to grab the code and copy it. Just select the code and hold down Control C, or on a Mac it's Command C. Then, step five, go back to your web page. Remember the Z's we typed? Now I'll show you why we type them. When we click the HTML button down here, we don't need to know a thing about programming or HTML. We just look for a bunch of Z's. And here they are. So I select them by dragging my cursor, making sure not to touch anything outside the Z's. Then I hit my return key a few times. This creates a nice big space for me, and I can paste the code I got from the news site right here. I do that by pressing Control V, or on a Mac, it's Command V. Okay, now return to layout view and notice that the news articles don't appear yet. This isn't a mistake. The reason is because we have to view the page in a browser before the news code will work. So let's preview the page. And there's the news feed. Now I can close the preview window and click publish. As soon as I see this little message telling me my page was successfully published, I'm officially done. My web page now has news articles in it, and I've just saved myself a bundle of time and money. Thanks for watching.